Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to tell you about KD Gravenier MK6 oil mist detector. So I was facing the issue of optical test, which is performed every 24 hour. So every 24 hour, uh, system self test and uh, check that all the detectors installed on individual unit are working fine. As you can see in this display, uh, engine 1 detector 3 is facing the optic test failure. When I run this optic test, the system gives fault alarm, and which indicate that the detector need to be cleaned. As we know that all mist detectors are uh, very important things for main engine because if there is a crankcase fire, uh, they are going to slow down the engine. If you face the communication failure from any of the unit, you need to isolate that detector and uh, dismantle it. In that you will find a fan and a lens and a photocell. So you need to clean it thoroughly. You can see this. Uh, you have to open this detector using this Allen key and behind you can see the fan. Using a clean tissue paper, you have to clean complete fan, detector unit, lenses and uh, whatever oil uh, presence you see, you need to clean it. Uh, this is the detector unit which is installed on individual unit. Let's say if you have a 5 unit, uh, this 5 set of uh, detector you will find on main engine. To dismantle it, you have to remove it uh, and you can see the fan and you can see a locking plastic nut is there, you can see this. You have to remove uh, it from the fan top and then uh, you can operate the fan. After that you have to remove the springs, these four springs and then you can see a LED and a receiver unit. Uh, inside you will find some uh, traces of oil, you need to clean it thoroughly and you have to make sure that you don't uh, damage it. You can also open the detector base in which uh, you will find the presence of oil every time because this fan uh, basically sucks the uh, crankcase atmosphere. So based on the optical density present inside the crankcase compartment, uh, this detector unit uh, gives the signal to main control unit. So you can see in the screen that uh, using a clean tissue paper, you have to clean the lenses very properly without giving any scratch or any damage to it and uh, after cleaning you have to properly box, box it back uh, as you have removed it as you can see uh, I have thoroughly cleaned it and there is no traces of oil inside it and the fan is also clean uh, friends uh, once the cleaning process is done you have to very properly box it back if you want to clean this detector uh, while engine is running you have to isolate that in particular unit to isolate that unit you need a engineer password and uh, go to that particular unit and uh, select the option of isolation once that unit is isolated uh, you can remove the detector and clean it and box it back so you can see in the screen that uh, after cleaning i have done the optic test and it is passed so you can go you can see the various options are there in this i have scrolled down and i am going to test uh, lcd and budget test in likewise you can do all the relay test uh, function test or whatever options are there you can go to that individual option and you can do the testing so you can see this the testing is complete and it has tested the buzzer and all the leds and it has returned back to the screen so the last option if you face this uh, test and you want to make it normal because you don't have time to clean that uh, detector while the engine is running you can press this uh, button while after opening the main control panel you can see this proce uh, processor restart button you can press this uh, processor restart button your system will be back to normal because this test always uh, perform every 24 hours so once you press this 
uh, it is going to give alarm for the next day thank you for watching see you in the next video